Hi, and welcome to the Jelvix channel. Looking for a framework that delivers both top-notch speed and developer experience? Well, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll explore multiple performance benchmarks and reveal which frameworks score best. Plus, we'll share our own insights on which ones offer the best developer experience and why. So, buckle up. If you're building a real-time application, like a live dashboard, a financial trading platform, or a multiplayer gaming interface, raw rendering speed and low memory footprint are absolutely critical. You need a framework that can handle massive, frequent updates without blinking, and this benchmark shows you exactly which ones can deliver that. Hence, for this video, we use results from the well-known JS Framework Benchmark, which measures the efficiency of a wide range of operations, including creating, deleting, and updating DOM elements as well as memory usage and launch time. You can find the full benchmark details via the link in the description. Let's get started. Here, SolidJS leads the pack with an average rendering time of just 1.3 milliseconds and memory usage of around 2.1 megabytes. VanillaJS, Svelte, Inferno, and Preact follow close behind. So what makes SolidJS a winner in this case? Well, as our Jelvix experts state, it all comes down to its fine-grained reactivity system and compile time optimizations. Unlike traditional frameworks that rely on virtual DOM diffing, SolidJS updates only the specific parts of the DOM that actually change, with no unnecessary calculations in between. This drastically cuts down rendering time. Combined with a highly efficient memory model, SolidJS avoids heavy abstractions, meaning it can handle complex UI updates with minimal overhead. That's exactly why, from our experience, SolidJS consistently leads in delivering the fastest rendering speeds and leanest memory usage across real-world benchmarks. Moving on, let's analyze another important performance benchmark, Google Lighthouse. It focuses on critical user experience metrics known as core web vitals. This includes largest contentful paint, time to interactive, and total blocking time. All these aspects matter enormously if your project is SEO-driven or heavily dependent on user experience like landing pages, e-commerce stores, or marketing sites. In 2025, Google's algorithm continues to reward fast, responsive sites. So choosing a framework that nails core web vitals isn't just a tech decision, it's a business strategy. At least, that's how we view it at Jelix. Looking at the actual performance scores, here's what we can conclude. SolidJS again scored nearly perfect with a performance score of 99 and the highest scores across all rankings offering an almost instant user experience. Because SolidJS skips heavy virtual DOM diffing, it minimizes JavaScript work during rendering, thus boosting both LCP and TTI. Plus, its compiled reactivity system also cuts down post-load scripting, keeping TBT near zero. Yet, when it comes to other frameworks, VanillaJS and Svelte showcase a nearly equally high performance with minimal details. Speaking of VanillaJS, it's performing so well in Lighthouse because of its minimalism. There's no framework overhead, no virtual DOM diffing, and almost no runtime complexity. Everything interacts directly with the browser, which means leading to faster initial loads, quicker time to interactive, and minimal blocking. It's a pure, lightweight approach that shines when raw performance is the priority. Next up, another benchmark that Jelvix experts regularly use is Web Page Test. This tool measures how pages load in real-world network conditions. Therefore, if your priority is building content-first websites, such as blogs, publishing platforms, online magazines, then these load time and speed index results should be your north star. First impressions happen fast, and users expect near-instant page loads, even on mobile networks. That's what Web Page Test is all about. Looking at its rankings, Astro definitely stands out here, delivering pages in just 0.8 seconds with virtually no JavaScript blocking. Quick, Eleventy, SvelteKit, and Next.js also performed well. But what makes Astro stand out is its static-first architecture and partial hydration approach. This allows Astro to deliver fully rendered content almost instantly while deferring non-essential JavaScript. And here's why Jelvix developers love using Astro when high performance is critical. You see, Astro sends almost no JavaScript to the browser by default. It delivers fully rendered HTML first and only loads interactive components as needed. This drastically reduces load time, speeds up the speed index, and eliminates blocking tasks. Hence, near instant page loads and zero total blocking time in real-world network conditions. Apart from that, there's one more high-performing framework we'd like to highlight. 
At Jelvix, we see quick is a great choice when extremely fast initial page loads and near instant interactivity are critical. Quick achieves high performance thanks to its innovative resumability architecture. Unlike traditional frameworks that hydrate the entire app on the client side, Quick resumes exactly where the server left off, dramatically reducing the time to interaction. It also applies fine-grained lazy loading, which sort of breaks the app into many small pieces and loads only what's immediately necessary with the minimal initial JavaScript execution. Combined with streaming rendering, Quick is designed for speed at every layer. So here you have it. Top 5 High-Performing Front-End Frameworks in 2025, ranked by speed. But what about their developer experience, you may ask? Would they be as efficient in it as they are in performance? Glad you asked. Well, when it comes to the perfect blend of performance and developer experience, one framework stands out above the rest, and that's Svelte. It removes much of the boilerplate developers typically deal with, has a simple and elegant syntax, a powerful yet intuitive reactivity system, and smooth integration for building both apps and static sites with SvelteKit. This way, it feels much closer to the language. Besides, Svelte delivers great performance by compiling components into optimized JavaScript at build time, removing the need for a virtual DOM. Additionally, by shifting the heavy lifting to compile time, Svelte apps are lighter, faster, and more efficient right out of the box. And as for our other frameworks, there are several of them that our Jelvix experts enjoy working with. Particularly, Astro is exploding in popularity thanks to its simple, framework-agnostic approach. With it, you can write components in React, Vue, Svelte, or Solid inside Astro projects without needing complex setups. Plus, Astro takes care of performance optimizations automatically, which reduces the mental load for our developers. Meanwhile, SolidJS and Quick are DX rising stars, gaining fast thanks to their balance of performance and innovation. Yet, if you're looking for a minimal developer learning curve, our top picks alongside Svelte and SolidJS would be React and Vue.js. They both have huge ecosystems, rich documentation, countless learning resources, and a familiar development model for most front-end engineers. React offers flexibility with a huge range of libraries and tools, while Vue is praised for its simplicity, clear structure, and smooth onboarding, especially for developers new to modern frameworks. So, which framework is your favorite? Share in the comments! And if you're interested to exploring exciting facts about more frameworks, for example, Golang and Rust, check out another hot trending video. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now!